I'm sorry. Was I not supposed to shake hands? You're the first private detective I ever met. Oh, no, no, don't worry. It's not you, it's him. I'm often asked if I have a favorite episode, and I'm not, I'm not being coy. I'm not avoiding the question, but I truly am proud of, of every episode, although for different reasons, each for different reasons. Um, it's like it being asked if you have a favorite child. I love the moment in um, Back to School, which was the first episode of the second season, where uh, Monk is uh, undercover in, a, in this high school, and he's, has to, he's posing as a substitute teacher. And he introduces himself to the class and is going to write his name on the board, like teachers always do. And um, sure. he begins printing his name in chalk on the board, and uh, the letters are never perfect, so he has to keep erasing and starting over. And we drag that moment out for, you know, way beyond the point where anyone could tolerate it. <laughs> oh my God. Adrian, Adrian, are you okay? What happened? There's a bunch of stuff I like. Yeah, you know, there's certain scenes that I thought were really, really good. I had a scene with Tony in an episode where uh, Stottlemyre stays at his house. There was a scene where Tony came in with a clock and said, "You know, Captain, I brought you an alarm clock." And it was I just there was a little dilemma about setting the clock being a, be an odd or an even number. Seven fifty-three. Uh huh. Why don't Why don't you just say eight o'clock? Eight o'clock is too late. But it, it's a nice round number. Eight o o. Monk, how important is this to you? I mean, on a scale from one to ten. Uh, I'd say it's about an eight. <laughs> eight o o. I thought it was a nice little, little scene. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm setting the alarm to 8 o'clock. 8 o o. Are you happy? Yeah. Now, I'm setting the clock ahead seven minutes. So, really, I'll be getting up at 7.53. Now, we're both happy. Yeah, but... You always... come in here again, Monk, and I'll shoot you. The scene when in the episode, uh, The Missing Granny, and there was this special chair that had been stolen. We get there and we're looking at the chair and we're trying to figure out what's special about the chair. This chair was personally handcrafted by Thomas Jefferson. In fact, there is some evidence to support the fact that he sat in this very chair while he drafted the Declaration of Independence. How much is it worth? Two, maybe 2.5. Million? <laughs> yes, Lieutenant, million. Does it swivel? To ask that whether this, you know, this Windsor chair swiveled like, you know, I mean, like a like an like an Office Depot chair, was it was just it was just kind of perfect. And when you kind of find something that's a you know a perfect simple little thing for a character, and it was a perfect simple, really telling little thing for Disher at that particular moment. When those things happen to me, that's really that's fun. In an episode we did called The Sleeping Suspect, where Disher comes this close to getting in his first car chase. Kiss my ass! Don't move. They're about to arrest a guy, and a guy comes in and disrupts the scene and races off in his car. They jump in the car, turn the car on, get ready to roll, seat belts, mirrors, foot on the gas. Can I be honest with you, sir? All units clear the air when pursued a hit and run and he's bound on Union. This is my first car chase. I've been waiting for this my whole life. And for some reason, the car chase ends. Chase over. What'd you think? I think that kind of sums up the relationship of the captain and Disher. Everyone has a favorite episode. If you ask uh, 30 people their favorite episodes, you get 30 answers. And throw it. Throw it. All the boys are just said throw it. Throw it. Now. Oh. What you got? 